Hello MTV Asia, I'm Nathan Sykes and you're watching the MTV Show. Something happened, babe. Only you can make it right. And clear my heavy mind with your tricks. Baby, I want you close, I want you close. Give me love. Baby, I want some more, I want some more. Can get enough. Juggling growing up as a person and entering the music industry was amazing. Because I've been at a music school since the age of 11, uh, it's kind of prepared me for the music industry. So. I wasn't expecting it to go as big as it did so quickly. Getting a number one with the debut single we had as a band, it just became part of my life. It was an amazing experience. I was crafting a whole body of work for the first time. It was like an outpouring of emotion, and that felt really special to be able to do that. And there was a real range in the emotions of the songs. Some are from happier times, some are from slightly darker times, but it was amazing to be able to put all that together and create yeah, a full album of, of those experiences. I'd say that you can never choose a favorite song um, because they're all like your children. I call them my babies. But I'd say the song that I'm most proud of is probably famous. I had to revisit the song a couple of times to really make sure I was telling the story correctly. Because it's a very specific situation and a very unique situation the song's written about. Written about. I wanted to be able to make the song accessible and relatable to as many people as I, as I possibly can. Uh, so I revisited it a few times to make sure that happened. Will you I normally come up with a concept or an idea or the moment in my life that I go, I need to write a song about this. I'll just leave that there for a minute and, and then I'll find myself seeing something that can relate to that concept and then I'll kind of merge those together. Then I'll probably take it to the piano in my house and then craft an idea and then take that idea into the studio. Or sometimes I can just be in the studio and go, you know what, I really need to write a song about this. I haven't got around to writing it yet, but this is the story, this is the situation. The tour was incredible. I had so much fun. She's just the most amazing person and the most amazing artist. And it was a really friendly tour. Uh, and, and her fans are really cool as well. I say seeing as, as many fans as possible. Obviously, so often you're in the studio or you're doing promo and you're doing interviews and stuff like that. I say another thing is, is hearing the music brought to life. Because obviously you work so hard in the studio, you hear like the live brass go on it and, and they're very the different stages. So you so like one day you'll get like a version of the song and it'll have like the live guitar put in, then the live bass, and then you'll hear it, the song completely differently again, then there'll be the live brass. So the evolution of that is an amazing process, but hearing all of that live at once is 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 just incredible. And I'd say the third part is is hearing people sing back the songs to you. It's amazing when you see people relating to something that's happened to you. What do I miss most about home? I'd say my bed. So I've got a place in my heart. Um, I say my dog, my family. Uh, I, I love how I just put my dog before my family. Um, my family and my dog. Uh, no, my dog and my family. Um, and, and I say kind of obviously seeing friends and stuff like that. New music. I, I've been away writing. At the start of the year, it felt like the right time for me to go into the studio and write. So we're just finishing up the, the mixing process. And new music should be with everybody really, really soon. Hey!